hello i'm not sure how much i'll be able to show you and it's going to be a quick one it's a little one actually we came back so it's full woolly goodness there was a hat i just twisted switched it so anyway probably linked it over here to the hat I knitted because check definitely playlist and then baby knits and you will see that there. My one, my favorite one to wear. <laughs> I feel like um, going to school and those movies when I was a kid, when I was watching my mom, very old ones anyway. But right, so I have only two things to show you. Um, first things first, quick one. Uh, I'm knitting socks for Sylvia. And I did cake the yarn and it was a quick thing because my toddler kind of checked it out. She's still a baby, I would say, because she's not even two. I'm not sure should I classify her as a toddler. I have only one hand. We have over here. We have uh, this yarn. So gorgeous. This is how it knits up without a texture. Here is uh, the same kind of swiss dot and you can see i have yarn vomit i think that's what you call it i started to save it from the other end however it also ends up in that vomit so i just wanted to take a moment to appreciate um, a properly caked yarn so i need to go through that and having a little one two kids under two so hard so slowly but surely probably i will be able to save save the yarn save the yarn and knit the socks so there is a progress so yeah and it's a beautiful beautiful uh yarn this is <coughs> stranded dye works and such a pleasure to knit such a pleasure to knit such a nice thing with the little ones with using nine inch circulars um so yeah but i have a progress on this with dot top and i would love to show it to you full glory maybe Here it is. Okay, let's see if I can come up with something. <laughs> yeah, you would want me to pass it on to someone if that was someone here. here. Okay. Hopefully now and quickly, the, I think here is the front. So I have those two panels done. And the last time I showed you um, something, up till here i did not read properly uh, the the two i think that was the back over here uh so remember when you're knitting those panels those sections uh first panel tells you to do one thing the second panel tells you to do something and at the end there's two also paragraphs that tell you something to do extra and I figured out that on the, when I was knitting, I think the front, I think you knit the back first and then you knit the front and then the front, I checked that. And then I wanted to join in around. I was like, it does not go the way it should be. So I was like, definitely I made something wrong. So I went back and I said, oh, right, you had to. So basically before joining, you have to have those two panels joined together and those two panels joined together. You have that written down in the pattern. And then you, what you do, you leave, um, there's lots of stuff leaving and waiting for a while. So you leave stitches on the needles and then you make this little thing um, and they recommend you to do provisional cast on. And I did one with a long tail cast on. I didn't do that in the next situation when you have it over here. And here we have a sleeves with lovely um, box pleat, the same idea as in the front. And then the same provisional, but I didn't do provisional. I didn't do provisional. I did. I just cast it on using back loop cast on method because it'll be for me the same thing picking up such as when I was doing with the first time with the long tail cast on. It was the same thing, but I have to cut the the 
waist yarn and so on and so on so I would not recommend that so I'm knitting the second sleeve and I'm going to do the same thing I'm going to do back loop cast on and then do that and then we shall see okay little one I think I need to change something over here and I hope to see you in the next one bye